2015 will be about the choice. Either we'll continue in this trend of elitization, this trend of concentration of the best players based in majors and the amount of money on a limited lum uh, number of clubs. I would say what I call the NBAification, which means that football will become more and more like basketball. I live five years in the US, as you know, and, uh, and I really love the NBA. But if we observe the NBA, you have in basketball one country with one competition which matters. Uh, it's a sport where the competition of the national teams have less relevance. Uh, it's a competition, a, a sport where uh, the international federation, i.e. the FIBA, has uh, a limited power over the competition. So if we continue that, strand, that trend, is that football is facing the risk to become like basketball, a great sport, but a limited sport. Or, or the other alternative is to, uh, to protect its universality. But to do that in, the, in this global context of inequalities, we need a FIFA which is more democratic, more, to be more democratic, to be more respected and more respectable, but also a FIFA which is much more proactive. FIFA has done a tremendous job in 40 years in terms of bringing, taking the competitions everywhere in all continents, uh, investing a lot of money in development. But the money FIFA invests today in development is just a drop of water in an ocean of inequalities. And that's why I advocate that we go much farther. And, but to do that, we need a, a stronger FIFA. So 2015 is about a debate.